their leading scorer this season. He has scored 17. Of course, their main marksman, Asani Brown, on the left hand side with 17 goals. Send this one inside the box and Sonny Brown. How do they approach this set, Catherine? Do they soak up the pressure and look to catch their opponents on the counter? With the speed and quality of Asani Brown, he goes long. Asani Brown for St. Catherine. Asani Brown picks it up in midfield, now looking for options. Brown gets it onto the left foot, is looking up front. Now for Brown. Here is a shot. Oh, that. that was a good series of possession there from St. Catherine. Really moved the ball about on top of the 18 yard. I was patient in trying to. Oh. Brown is inside the box. Asani Brown picks it up on the left again. Slip. St. Catherine will go on the attack again. Asani Brown is over on the left, trying to find him. He is found. Brown inside the box, one waiting. Brown has it on the left, oh, the cross comes. Oh, just too high.
Foster. Plays it across. It's a chance for Sally Brown. Feigned the shot. And then the resulting effort was blocked and the chance is over the top from <laughs> channel cuts back inside very nicely Asani Brown good chip Asani Brown already two goals to his credit this afternoon strong looking player is Asani Brown the type of build you want up front to be able to stave off defenders not that he's had to stave them off much he's been given the room and he's made them pick. St. Catherine from 1 0 down find themselves 3 1 up. Asani Brown, who started this contest with 17 goals this season, has improved his tally to 19. First time we're really seeing him in the thick of things, Sani Brown. Yeah, he's been really quiet. Eh? Leading goal scorer for St. Catherine with 15. Good link of play. That's probably. Here's a chance for Sani Brown! Yeah, the top side for sure. St. Catherine now heading forward, looking for the equalizer, looking for Brown, brings out the same. Headed down, but good cross into the box. It's the second time we've seen them being able to get that cross into the box and effect and bring a save out of Smeichel. And this time he dealt with it much better than the first. of three minutes, two goals for St. Catherine. His 18th Robinson. Or oh, comes through for a Sonny Brown chance of 3-1. St. Catherine of open daylight. A Sonny Brown has two. And the Blues have three. Look at them go. They are smelling their first. 
for 3-1. Well, he was in Markovic's Brown's shadow last year. The man who scored 18 goals for St. Catherine. Well, he's better that he has 19 this season, Asani Brown. And a clinical finish. But again, what poor defending from Excelsior. Totally out of sight, a lot of arguments at the back. And they need to get themselves together very quickly, Excelsior. Or right, this one will be... Asani Brown is the MVP for this championship decider. Two goals, 19 on the season. He's third overall on the goal scoring charts. Congratulations, Asani Brown, on being named MVP of the final. Congratulations on winning the Walker Cup here this evening. Your smile says it all, but explain to us what you're feeling. Feeling very, very elated. Uh, we needed it. We needed it most of all. And we come here and put everything on the pitch. We end up victorious. And you did that. Prayer and work conquers all. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Asani Brown, they're the MVP of the game and uh, a player of St. Catherine Heights. What a season he's had. What a way to go out. This is what it looks like when history has been made. Raise your cup, St. Catherine High. Champions of the Digicel Walker Cup 2019. And they love it. And they will remember it for a very long time. Oh.